Hey guys, good Crosser here, and there are a lot of enemies on screen. And blah. And. <coughs> Sorry about that. Welcome to my newest Let's Play Kobe and the Amazing Mirror. Now, this game is. Oh, wait. I forgot. There's this. You can read that. I'm just gonna talk. But, anyway. What? This is basically, if you didn't watch my Leaf Green finale, that every 5 LPs I want to be doing a game that's like special to me. Like one of my favorite games. So, that doesn't mean that I can't do one of my favorite games for like another one, except for Rotation of 5. But still. On my every 5 will only be one of my favorite games. So yeah. So, this game is interesting. It's kind of like Pokemon, where there's eight bosses, you go around defeating the bosses, collecting things to get to the final boss, essentially. There's no Elite Four, though, I don't think, if I remember the game correctly, but, you know, yeah. So, that was that little intro, but here's the file select screen, yeah. I did, like, practice, but I didn't want to, like, spoil what these look like, kind of. Because there are 10 bars here, and as you get progress, they actually fill up every 10% you get. The highest I've gotten is 98, so I've never actually seen the full thing. Which is kind of sad, but yeah. Anyway, let's start here. So, we have Start Game, which is Adventure with 4 Kobe's Sub Games, which I'll do later. Collection Room, this is where all our treasures will be that we collect throughout the adventure. Right now, we just have default color. And then Eraser File, which obviously this doesn't even have anything on it, so I don't want to do that. So let's start the game. And there's the Men Knight who split us up into four. So, a bit over the controls here, obviously, left and right is to go left and right, down is to duck, and up doesn't. Well, up if you practice it repeatedly, you float. So basically, that's one of the gimmicks of Kobe as being a platformer is being able to float repeatedly. Now, like in Super Smash Brothers, they obviously had to nerf it because, I mean, you can't fly infinitely, that's just overpowered, but yeah. And then you can press B to suck up things and A to jump. And also, by repeatedly pressing A, you can also do that. And then by double tapping, either left or right, you can sprint. So when you suck up an enemy like this Waddle Dee here, you can shoot him with B again. And then there are certain enemies which we won't meet until the next area that allow us to use copy abilities, which I'll go over when we get there. Okay, so these. This is another mechanic. Doors. This is exactly how you get around. Now doors like this where this is a small star on top means only one way, meaning when you go in the door you can't come back. So this area you like can't come back to. Which doesn't really matter. So, and you press up to go through doors, by the way. So, these are switches, they open gates. Now, you can go down here, and there's no way you're gonna make it in time. So, you have to wait for your friends to come along and press the switch for you. And then you can also down and B to do a slide attack, and that's how you do that. Now, these gray blocks, there's a lot of explaining, but anyway, these gray blocks, you can't destroy them or anything, you just have to suck them up so they move. And you can move over like one block gaps, I guess you can call it, with Kirby's Run. And then you can suck up. And these battery things are for that thing in the top left corner. You can press the L button in order to return to the main hub area, which we haven't gotten to yet. And you can press R, which, well, the L button doesn't take up a, um, like a recharge thing or battery life, I guess. But you can press R to call all the Kirby's to your current location. That's useful for like a boss fight and all that. So I'll just grab it because we're probably not going to be coming back here. So, And then when you have food, you can do this thing called sharing, which looks like you're kissing because the Kirby's don't have long enough arms. But basically you just share the food is what it is. So if like you get a maximum tomato, which cures all your health, which I didn't even explain, is at the bottom there along with our lives. Yeah, that's basically what happens. We share the maximum tomato and everyone gets fully healed. Now these! These are copy abilities right here. This guy is a sword knight. And if you press down while you have a menu, you can, press, you can get a sword. Now, that enemy up there is a cupid. I want to say it's called a cupid. I don't know. Well, I don't get to find out, do I? But that gives you the cupid power, which allows you to fly and to shoot arrows. 
And there's Scalfies, which are absolutely terrible. And the sword. I, yeah, QP, okay. Um, something I couldn't explain about the sword is that when I... Oh, well, when you get hit, you lose your power, by the way. Just showing that off there. Yeah, totally. And if you, you press start, you could see, like, what abilities you have usually. So with sword, you can press up and B to do a upward attack, and B repeatedly to just do super sword. And also, here, I'll explain the menu. You can put, actually, no, you can't do that right now, actually. So, never mind, I don't get to explain it yet. But that's another enemy. Uh, what are they called? I don't, I, for the life of me, I don't remember what they're called. What are they called? Dude, flamers, okay. I knew it was something. Okay, and these, these are tre treasure chests. Big treasure chests usually have important items, so this one has the main map for just the world. So, yeah, this is gonna tell us about the watch your batteries and then it'll set over it. Yeah, and now, so much of a cutscene, the like, one of the only cutscenes this game has, which is kind of another reason I like it. It doesn't like drag on, but you know. So yeah, as you can see, well, I don't know if you can see exactly, but it's split up into eight shards. So now we have to explore the areas. So now the this is the hub world, basically. When you reach certain areas, there are going to be waypoints or gates that bring you back here, so you have shortcuts. Because when you leave, when you turn the game off and back on, your lives reset as well as you coming back to this hub world, instead of where you originally were. So, yeah, so let's go in. This is the first area of Rainbow Route, and this music is awesome, and that's another reason why I like this game, because this game's music is just so awesome. And this is Sparky right here. He gives you the spark ability. It's, base it's not as overpowered as it is in, like, Kirby Superstar, where you can just keep charging back and forth. Well, actually, that's plasma, never mind. You can keep charging back and forth to get overpowered things. Or at least I don't think it is. And that's Waddle Do that gives you the beam ability, which isn't as overpowered as it is in um, that either, and I just lost my ability. Great. Anyway, this chariot heals 1 HP. So, um, what was I even saying? I don't even know anymore. Judge just 1 up. That's great. Okay. Oh, you have 2 power plays here, don't you? Uh, no. Go down here. Yeah. So, as you've probably noticed already, um, oh, you can press select to get rid of your power, by the way. Um, if you've already noticed, this video has a thumbnail. Now, you may be like, wait, why does this video have a thumbnail? Because every 5 LPs, as well as doing one of my favorite games, I'm gonna work hard to actually, like, make it more special, I guess you could say. Yeah, and this is Fido, by the way. He's, like, super overpowered. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna make thumbnails for all these episodes. Well, it's just gonna be, like, the one generic thing with, like, an episode number. But, you know, at least it's something. So, uh, oh, I'm gonna take this bang bang and get Missile Kirby! Hooray! Okay, do you need to be on a... Yeah, you need to be on a solid surface to use that. And that was another flamer. So, oh, hello, Shadow Kirby! He appears in several areas, and he gives you power-ups when you defeat him, which he's usually only a like, one-shot enemy. And that back there was a, an invincible lollipop, where you become invincible, so when you touch any enemy, they usually die. I believe, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, there's so much explaining to do. So little time. Anyway, this is the Moonlight Mansion map, which I didn't even tell you that we were in the next area already. So yeah, so we want to head through here, and these bomb things, they just are destroyed. There's another enemy, Gulp, I believe is his name. Snooter, whatever. Yeah, by the way, if you lose your power, or like you get rid of it, and then you absorb it with an enemy that has a power, your thing that has, um, the thing that you let go will take priority. And that's another thing, those gray blocks. You can only get through them with certain abilities like missile, burning, UFO, hammer, stuff like that. Those are those are gonna be very important. And then you wanna just go through here. Oh no! I just died. 
I pressed the A button to float, but it didn't work. Well, I guess I'm not showing you down there, then. But anyway, let's just keep going. Yeah, so at the end of each video, I'm also going to have, like, special things like counting the deaths that I had and what caused them. And then, um, also, same thing over here now. Also, um, what abilities I've used in this episode. If I've used something multiple times, I'm only going to count it once. And this is a mini boss, Mr. Frost Flosty. Oh no. Oh, I'm doing bad. Oh, I didn't absorb that time. Okay. Well, you can just stay up here and be cheap. And then you can do that, and then shoot it back at him. And absorb his block again, and shoot it back at him. Does that damage? No, that doesn't even damage him. Jeez. And he's dead. And you, you can usually absorb them and get another power, like ice. Yeah, there's just so much explaining to do. Because <laughs> this is my first Kirby game, so I have to naturally explain everything. And these doors, these are the bigger style doors that... It's an emulator, so it's not the best, but... There's usually blue circles around these doors indicating you haven't gone through them yet. And this is what I was talking about earlier, which is a gate room. Press the switch, and it links back up to the hub world right here. So now you can go through this rainbow door right here, and see, we're back at the beginning. So let's go back in, and I want, uh, fighting. Yeah, in these hub rooms, there's usually two powers that they give you. So yeah, yeah. Sorry if I'm going through doors like that, but, um, yeah, it's just kind of a habit, because to get 100% by this game's means, no, give me that power. You have to go through like every door and make sure no door is blue whatsoever, and that is a blocking. He disguises himself as a regular block, as you could see right there, and then platforming. No, no, no. Okay, I didn't die. That's good. And one way doors. Okay, now with this, don't destroy that one, or else you can't get down here. So we go in here, and we get a nutritious drink which heals three bars, I want to say. Oh, and also, the best thing about Fighter I didn't even show off is you can hold B while you're in place, and Hadouken! So yeah, that's a cool little, like, teaser. Uh, get this, because why not? And then, oh, no, give, give that back. This is a heavy knight. There are certain enemies in Kobe that are bigger and that when you try and suck them up they won't automatically go in like you won't automatically get them no i suck at this i suck at using fighter even though it's like op okay now here you if you have a uh, like a gray block breaking ability you can go through here but i don't so i can't go through here so we'll have to show that off later so invincibility lollipop oh uh, no if i grab it there we go there's more fighting people up there if you want to get those if you don't have it already, but I do, so. And then again, these one block things you could just run over. Oh, well, not if you do that. And then I go here and get the maximum tomato, which heals all HP no matter how much you have. And we can go through the door. Oh, see? I, like, can't determine the distance you're supposed to go to fight. Really? Dude. I thought I still had invincibility flames. And yeah, there's another battery. And hello. Oh, well I guess I'm just gonna skip you. So those red golems like activate no matter if you get near them or not. And this gray golem only activates when you walk past. And yeah, this switch right here is a weird one because it it's the only one in the entire game that you activate which and where you're not in the actual room that it goes to. It's weird. I don't know why they do that exactly, but anyway. Let's just keep going here. And this bomb, watch out for the ceiling, because of the spikes. And now, by the first boss, surprisingly. And I'm going to show you how OP Fighter is. This is basically Wispy Woods of normal Kirby games, but it's not Wispy, obviously. And as you can see, he's dead. See how easy that was? <laughs> see how OP Fighter is? It's just ridiculous. Anyway, for beating him, we get one of the mirror shards out of eight. 
So yeah. And he always does a little dance after he beats like a boss. So yeah. I think this has been a productive for this episode. We are I explained a bunch of things. I probably missed some stuff, and I'm sorry about that. I'll probably explain it in the next episode, but... So yeah, in this episode, we got through the introductory area. I explained a bunch of things. We got here. We unlocked two warp gates. We defeated uh, King Golem, which I didn't really show off that well, because I just beat him to a bloody pulp with Fighter. But yeah, so in the next episode of Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, because I think there's a nice place to end it off. In the next episode, we will be exploring more of the land and maybe even finding another boss already. I don't know. We'll just have to see because this world is big. I didn't really show you, but I, I can show you right here. You can select now, which you couldn't do before, which is what I was trying to show you. You can look here and these are the maps. We didn't get Rainbow out yet, but if you could see that the red Kirby, there's like a block right there. Like that he's on that block right there usually indicates where the map is for all the areas since we already got it for moonlight mansion it's not done but the red areas significate where you haven't been already those arrows represent one-way doors obviously the kirby's represent where your friends are the boss room obviously indicates where the boss is and those stars indicate warp stars that lead you to other areas then the goal gates i'll go eh I'll go over that next episode, because we'll probably reach a goal gate next episode. So yeah, hopefully I didn't miss anything, and if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments below, and all that stuff. So, yeah, so, get ready for the ending of somewhat awesomeness, not really. I don't know how long I'm going to make it, probably like 20 seconds or something. You don't really need to see my deaths for like a minute. So yeah, this is Coach Casio, signing out. Have a great day, everybody. Hadouken!